And welcome back. Well, it was a warm day across the viewing area. We had that warm front move back onto the north as we went on throughout the early morning hours. So temperatures today, pretty nice. 82 degrees, 66, 66 was this morning's low. Uh, precipitation wise, we have picked up some. We're just not showing you right now. We're having a little bit of a data problem. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that precipitation is going to continue over the next uh, several hours, really on into tomorrow as well. Lows for tonight. Yeah, not nearly as warm as last night. Temperatures in the mid to lower 60s. Once we have the southwest, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Showers, heavier thunderstorms still sticking with us. As long as this cold front is out to the west, we're still going to be talking about chances for showers. Where's the cold front right now? Well, just now going into Louisiana and up to the north. This is actually a warm front. That's what's moving back to the north. That's what brought us those warm temperatures for today. But don't get used to them because as we go into tomorrow, and yeah, we're going to drop back down well below average. It is going to be a chilly day outside. And chilly start to your Halloween, that's for sure. 60 degrees here in Meridian. Winds out of the northwest, 10 to 15, upwards of 20 miles per hour. Showers and thunderstorms still around and hanging around with us. Again, we are in a little bit of a break over the past hour or so, but if you look on out to the west and to the southwest, and we're still looking at several bands of showers and thunderstorms yet to move on through. I'll show that to you on our future radar. Again, early morning hours again, and we're still waiting for that cold front to roll on through. Until then, the moisture just streams up overhead. So expect to hear some thunder rumbling tonight as these showers move on through and they'll stay with us throughout your early morning hours. Now the good news is models have kind of picked this up a little bit. So hopefully by about noon, we'll have pushed that cold front off to our southeast and we will start to gradually clear on out from the west to the east. How much more rain can we expect? Well, we've picked up about an inch to an inch and a half in some locations right now. We can still pick up another half inch or so after all is said and done. So again, we're not talking flash flooding. There is some flash flood warnings uh, down to our south, but nothing here across our viewing area that we need to be concerned about. You can see all that moisture again, just kind of flowing up from the Gulf of Mexico. The cold front still out to the west. We're seeing that reinforcing shot. I told you this cold front kind of stalled out over eastern Oklahoma and eastern Texas. It's finally kind of being pushed on off to the east. It's going to take it a little bit while before it gets here. I mentioned flash flood warnings and, and whatnot. We're seeing again those flood warnings. Those have been here for a while now, but if we zoom on out, we can see the cold weather that's staying with us. Yeah, northern part of the state, about the northern quarter or third, under a uh, freeze watch. That is as you're going into tomorrow night, not tonight, but tomorrow night. Unfortunately, it's looking to be pretty chilly for the trick or treaters. Temperatures near freezing, so you're definitely going to need to keep that heavy coat handy for them. And the good news is, as going throughout the beginning of November, we should start to gradually warm on up and get to above average. It's going to take some time before we get there, though. So tomorrow, 60 degrees overnight lows. And again, there's that blue right near freezing. And we're going to stay near freezing for your Friday, Saturday, potentially your Sunday night as well, though that's trending a little bit warmer right now. Daytime high is still right near 60 degrees. Also, don't forget Saturday into Sunday. Set your clocks back an hour as we do fall back. And finally, as we go into the first half of next week, the first full week of November, temperatures will gradually start to warm on up ever so slightly right near 70 degrees for your Tuesday with a few chances for some more showers and thunderstorms.